Next, I would like to show you how you can make a prediction based on your equation of your line of best fit. Um, so x is the number of years after 1989. So that would mean 1990 would be where x equals 1. Um, 1991, x would equal 2, and so on. So x for 2020 would be 31. So this would be 31 years after 19, 1989. And then 2021 would be 32 years. So now that you know what x is, you're going to plug that into your equation. This one's asking based on your equation. So you'd have 5 sixteenths times x, which when you're finding for 2020 would be times 31 plus 0 0.5. So then first you would do your multiplication. 5 times 31 is 155. 16 times 1 is 16. You get that plus 0.5. Then I went ahead and I made this a decimal. So 155 divided by 16 gives you that decimal. And then you add 0.5 to it. And so you could estimate, based on your equation, that you would have about 10.2 um, sightings in 2020 for my made up state. In 2021, you will do the same thing, except this time 2021 would be year 32. So five times 32 which is 160 over 16 um, plus five. So then 160 divided by 16, you get 10.5. So um, what does the Y represent in 2020? Well, that's gonna be how many sightings of Bigfoot this made up state could expect to um, have. And so you could say 10 sightings in 2020. Same thing here, really, it's 10.5, so use 10, maybe you could round up to 11 sightings in 2021, and I did have a typo there, so please fix that to a 1. And so that is how you can use equations to come up with your predictions.